We are getting a better picture of the economic impact caused by Hurricane Ian's wrath. Economists say tens of thousands of people are likely to file for unemployment benefits because of the powerful storm. CNN reports early estimates show Ian could be the most costly hurricane to ever make landfall in the state of Florida. The tourism industry took an especially hard hit. Economists say if those workers don't come back to work, those areas will struggle to rebound. The death toll from Ian continues to rise. As of earlier today, 129 people died in the state, and many who survived are struggling to clean up after the damage. Officials say more than $207 million in claims have already been paid out by insurance companies. The damage is estimated to be more than $100 billion in the state. But for people without flood insurance, they're realizing they may be out of luck. So for insurance, we already talked to our agents and they basically said nothing's covered. Unless I can prove to them that wind destroyed it before water touched it, there's nothing that I could do. Wow, only about 18% of Florida households have federal flood insurance. Homeowners insurance stopped covering flooding in the 1960s. Homeowners in Florida already pay the highest premiums, nearly three times the national average for property insurance. One state senator told us he expects rates to increase 20 to 30%.